Magento 2.4.2 introduced Composer 2 support. The problem with this is that the internal tool bin slash Magento still uses Composer 1. There's a relatively simple way to switch this over though. Let's quickly look at an example. I have a vanilla install of Magento 2 here, and I wish to install sample data, which uses the internal composer version. I'm going to try to install the sample data here with bin slash Magento sample data deploy. Let me escape out of here, and you'll notice I get an error that says you should upgrade to composer 2. This is because the internal tool is still locked at Composer 1, even though I have Composer 2 installed on my machine. I can fix this by opening up my composer.json file and going down to the require line and adding a new line that says magento slash composer. And then I will alias the version 1.7.0 as 1.6.0. And what this will do is trick Magento into thinking that it needs to download the newer Composer version. So let's go ahead and save this file. I run Composer through my Docker container, which runs at bin slash Composer, but just use regular Composer if you don't use this setup. And then I will just run update. And this will look at all of the Magento dependencies and install any that match these Composer version constraints. After that's done, before we attempt to reinstall this sample data, let's run bin slash magento sample data reset. And this will ensure that Magento resets all the configuration and sample data from a previously failed install. After that's done, we can go ahead and execute sample data deploy. And we will notice that we no longer get an error that says that we are stuck on Magento 1. We are now using Magento 2 for all of the internal scripts as well as our host machine. After that sample data is deployed, I can go ahead and run bin slash Magento setup upgrade to complete installing my sample data deployment. But at this point, we are all set. The internal Magento tool is now using Composer 2 no matter what we do in our installation. If you like this tip, remember to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more content all about Magento. If you want to learn more about Magento, check out my website at m.academy, which is a great resource for learning all about Magento with technical blogs, content, and courses. And until next time, keep coding.